Greetings, this is R. Smalik with a custom adventure map called Deep Space Turtle Chase by Captain Sparkles and the Voxel Box. I'm hesitating because I'm looking at this map and I don't really see a path I'm supposed to take. Is it the yellow? Those two yellow lines coming off the back end of the ship and the front side of the ship? I'm actually not even sure how to um, how to get there. Hey, here's something interesting. Since I died, um, yeah, I, oh, my goodness, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. So I did read from one of the Vox and Box guys that you're supposed to play this on Peaceful. And I can't quite tell where I'm supposed to go, but since I died, at least it cleared my inventory of all the other Voxel readers. Um, so I guess I want to go towards the round top tree. Okay, there's a volcano. Oh, the purple leaves look really cool. But I will say there's just... There's a lot of color here. It's kind of hard to tell what I'm looking at. I'm sorry. Really sorry. It looks like an alien world for sure. Okay, I like that you reuse this texture, which was pipes as trees. Um, I like it from a mechanics of texture packing perspective that there's only so many blocks possible to use. And you've made good use of dual use of a block. <laughs> don't know really what I'm doing. So there was a bridge back there that I couldn't get across. Uh, I went up this tree, I went across this vine to this other tree. I keep seeing a house down there. I'm a little bit nervous about dropping down there. In case I need to come back up here again. I'm not I'm not sure. Okay, it looks like I'll be able to get back up here again. I don't know if I like these trees. This this one looks like a squid with an afro. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I love I love this look up here for sure. I don't know if I like the blue and the orange. It's a little too contrasty. Maybe like if all this and I like all the purple and the purple and blue. But I don't know. Maybe one consistent palette would be more palatable. <laughs> I'm gonna stop complaining about that now because I'll write it up. All right. Well, let's go Wait. here. Looks like it had a brief stint as a military base of operations before they up and left. Or died. Ah, no matter. Head that way when you finish your cartoons and Fruit Loops. So, are these in order? I just... It, I'm not... Oh. So that's cool. Hold on. <laughs> My gosh, I can't finish thought. So I just feel like I'm not reading these in order. Like, almost that one didn't, didn't seem like it fit. But this is a really cool effect. So this means we're down by the void. So the sparklies are coming up. But it didn't get dark. And I'm wondering if they modded that out. Because now when you go down near the void, everything gets dark. And you can't see where you're going. But that didn't happen here. So it looks cool. Uh, that nebula does look cool, though. Okay, so just so you guys know, in 1.9, 
this fence post right here is going to connect to there. So it's going to look a little bit odd. These are invisible blocks. Okay, so here's what I like about this puzzle so far. You start in a central area and you make a choice. That choice opens up another area, which gives you a key brings you back to the central area, make, gives you another choice, or maybe it's not, I guess it's linear, um, which then circles you back here and up to a new area, which gives you another key, circles you back to the central area, and then again unlocks another connector. Um, so I love puzzles that keep circling you back through an area you've been but making it incrementally more interesting. Ah. Oh my goodness, that was cool. Did you hear that scream? <laughs> Is that? Wow, it is a working Battle Me series Beardo bot. That model hasn't been made for nearly 400 years. So cool. Okay, so this is a Beardo bot. This is his sword, so it's like a giant mech. Whoa, hold on. What would a dig site need with a Battle Me? So you can see his hand here, kind of clutching the ground. I think this is his, sh his sh arm and his torso. So he's, it's like he's falling back. It does look pretty cool, that's for sure. Maybe he was severed in half. Oh, I'm in his crotch, that's not good. Uh-oh. Oh, that's awesome. Look at his mouth is opening and closing. I, oh, and his eyes are moving. Very well done. I was thinking of doing something like that for a statue in one of my maps, but... Um... Now I don't think I can, because I'll be accused of uh, copying. Aha. Oh yeah, that's his hand. Oh, look at that. You can see the fingers gripping the sword. Oops, I thought that was water. Oh, those are spawners in there. Oh, that's interesting. They're using the spawners to make it look like DNA going around or something. That's pretty cool. Great idea. All right. Is that a big flag? All right. So five, four, one, three, two.
don't know how to get out of this place and it's starting to make me mad. Alright, so I feel like a total f idiot. I'm in this room. It's a big room. This button over here opens up these panels. The green thing closed up this area. And this leads outside, but to a dead end. Oh. Freaking A. Never mind. Figured it out. Okay, so big weapons powered up. That would be those. Yeah, so I really don't see how this looks like a dig site. What what are they digging? No idea. The power turned this on. Now that looks like a claw that's going to pick something up out of the ground. Well, if that opens, that'd be so sweet. Yikes. Alright, so I made it through this colored block area here. And I'm in this little room. I pressed this button, which opened up that. And I don't see any other way out. I think I'm completely trapped in this room. Um, my suspicion is that something went wrong with this lock. Dude, did you just flush yourself down a toilet? Well, I did, and I came out into the sewer, so I'm extremely tired. I think I'm going to pause it here and continue in the morning.